everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Rogue. And apparently we started right in front of a hobgoblin. That's wonderful. Uh, are you sleeping? No, of course not. Ooh, one shot. Not bad. Darts. Um, those are just a throwing weapon. Which is kind of nice because you don't need to like equip your short bow or anything to use them. You can just throw them. Staircase already. Hopefully we have a bit less failure than the last episode. That was pretty bad. I don't think we accomplished anything, really. Really? No secrets? No secrets. Wonderful. That in a hallway or maze? Looks like a hallway. No, it's a maze, I guess. Uh -oh. F for those darts. Throw. Where's the hobgoblin? F. Kill the hobgoblin? No. Um, yeah, this is not going well. Oh, how about that? Um, yeah, this is going pretty poorly. Yeah. <sighs> New character. Kestrel. And he starts off with an excellent hit on us, of course. Uh. Come on, kill the bird, thank you. Pretty sure Kestrel's a bird, I'm not really sure. But I think it is. Um, put on ring. Left. Cool. We have a ring. Kill the snake. I wonder what that ring does. Is there any? No, it doesn't really say. I don't know how to identify what a ring does without using like a item to actually identify it. I also don't know why I'm saying like so much this episode. I think I'm talking quieter than normal. I'm not sure. I might be. Hopefully you lot can still hear me. Um, dead end? Dead end. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, I've got one. Cool, we killed it. Gonna wait here for a little bit. Never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna wait there for a little bit to heal, but... That didn't work out. Ooh, a wand. This episode is not starting off very well. Hopefully we get at least one character that survives a couple floors. Fuck. And they should loop around to this door, yeah. Ooh, scroll, scroll, sunner, soul soul. Um, we have a wand. Let's try to zap with it. Do things. that wand did, but it didn't help. <sighs> this is going really exceptionally poorly. Okay, well our Kestrel here is sleeping, so should be able to shoot it. Cool, we 
you killed it from range without getting killed in return. That's nice. Mm. Gonna keep the bow equipped for right now. Hopefully we, I don't run face first into a hobgoblin again. Which seems to be a problem I'm having. Oh, an emu. That's not a hobgoblin, at least. Maces, see. I'm gonna wait here a couple rounds, try to heal up. Hopefully not get attacked while I'm doing it. There, that should be fine. I'm sucking a lot at this game lately. First set didn't go quite as bad. But this one's just going horribly. And the last set went pretty bad too. Well, I never pretended to be good at this game, just so I like it. E, yeah. Um. Please kill it. Thank you. <sighs> Be nice if I could hit things once in a while. But I think that might be asking too much of this game. Should be leveling up relatively soon though, shouldn't we? Or did we already? It looks like we did already and I missed it. So our health is higher now. Should be something in that bottom left corner, I think. Um, Kestrel. Did that emu just come down the stairs? That was weird. I didn't know emus were good with stairs. A potion and some gold. It's not too bad. Hey, we finally made it to the next floor. Awesome. Should not be this happy about reaching level fucking two in the dungeon. But. Cool. One shot the. Bat. <laughs> fucking hobgoblins. God damn. As you level up, your um, health regeneration goes up too. So, the higher level you are, the less you have to wait around for your health to recover, which is a nice benefit of leveling up, but it doesn't really help me right now because at this rate I'm not going to be leveling up that much, to be honest here. I'm just sucking terribly. Secrets. Nope. I really don't like that I can't move diagonally from staircases. Level 3 now. It's not bad. Other armor, another scroll. Kestrel. It looks like it got a hit on us, but not a very good one. It's not too bad. Already recovered from it. Ooh, treasure room. An ecru potion or ecru ecru ecru. I don't know. I don't have any idea actually. I'm terrible with colors. Actually, I've seen versions of this game that have like full color characters, but. I don't know how to get one. Like, I don't know how to set it up for color. Hey, food. 
Oh, speaking of hungry. But I don't know how to set it up to have color if this version even supports it. And that's the end of this floor. <sighs> really? Right next to a hobgoblin? Of course. And it's awake. Well, it didn't last long. But I don't know how to set up colors for this version. I don't know if I can at all. If I could, I would just make it better to look at, but I don't know. The man page didn't really mention anything about it that I saw. I haven't found like a config file or anything like that. So, I'm not too concerned about it. I actually like the black and white look. Um, I'm not sure what you guys prefer. The white background with black characters is a black background with white characters that I had in the first episode. This one's a little bit easier for me to look at, but I can understand why that would not be the case for everybody. Um, Door. Secrets. No secrets, I guess. Hobgoblin. That wasn't very problematical, at least. I think we're getting to the point where we can actually kill hobgoblins somewhat reliably. I have on um, ringmail. Yeah. Never mind. Please don't steal my health, Mr. Snake. I like having my health and my strength for that matter. Shit. Come on, kill it. Really? Lost two strength already? Thank you for welcoming me to level four, but... Uh, I don't want to drink a potion just yet. I'll try that, um... Ski Beave the Pot Tibengmar scroll. Um, F. F. Here. Somebody's watching over me. I really should remember to look those up, but I can't remember what any of the scrolls do from the descriptions. I think that gives, like, better chance to not get hit or something, like better defense. I have no idea though, that's just a guess. Any food? the staircase out of here. It's nice. Especially since it's in the last room on the floor. Yeah, hello Rob Goblin. Um, I don't have a wand or anything, do I? Let's try that gray potion. Cloak of darkness? What? I'm not sure what that did. Oh, I can't see. I'm blind. Shit. Well, that's a problem. Not sure how long that lasts. Did I pick something up? 
No. <sighs> well, we know not to drink gray potions now. In this playthrough, anyway. Assuming we survive long enough to, you know, apply that lesson anyway. Which I'm not too confident about. Door there. <sighs> Wish I knew how long this lasted. I hope it's only for the floor or something. So then I defeated something. I don't know what, but it was a something and it tried to kill me. So I'm happy I defeated it. What was that? I don't know. Shit. I guess it's just gold we're picking up? I don't know. Something missed me. Something missed me. Where are you? I've injured something. It hit me. Defeated something. Cool. We defeated a thing. Yeah, this is blindness. Basically, I have no idea what's going on. Something swings and hits me. I hit something. I've defeated something. More something. Mm -mm. There it is. Yeah, to find enemies when you're blind, you just have to... Enemies can only hit you when they're in an adjacent tile, but they can't hit you at angles, so just move around and hope you run into them, basically. Not really much strategy to being blind in this game. It's kind of annoying. One thing I really don't like is you can't see walls. Like, I'd like it if when you run into a wall while you're blind, it just outlined the wall. But it doesn't. So you just have these rooms with no walls. It's really weird. I don't know, I just don't like the look of it. Um, please don't be amazed. Secrets? Something there. Swing and miss. Something hit me really well. I defeated it. Cool. Yeah, there's a secret door or a secret path here, I guess. Um. Hmm. Guess that's it for this floor. More somethings like came out of nowhere to try to murder me. I really want to know what it is we're killing. Also, it'd be nice to be able to see it so I know what exactly I'm up against. Injured me. Killed it. Next floor. And we're still blind. Um. I I and if I scroll scroll um oh, I thought that was a scroll M scroll of food detection that doesn't help me <sighs> yeah I'm really not sure how to Hmm. I guess I could try that acre potion, but I'd rather save it for an emergency because it might be a health potion and we're not that damaged. Um. 
Not really much to comment on because I can't actually see anything. empty room. There's the door. Good. Okay, there's a door out of here. I miss the something. The something misses me. Whatever it was, was sleeping, I think. Injured me. Hit me. Defeated. Cool. Um. It would be nice if I. Okay, killed that and that, apparently. I really wish I knew what was happening. Hey! We can see again! Yay! That lasted way too long. Damn. Uh, we have extra arrows. That's nice. I'm just happy we can see again. Going through more of this dungeon blind is not something I want to experience. Although, for being blind, we did manage pretty well. Hey, we leveled up too. Pretty good. Um, it's a very ooh, a zombie. Cool. Defeated the zombie. Um, obvious secret door is obvious. Thank you. I love when they hide secret doors like that, when it's blatant where the door is. Oh, apparently this was a dark room anyway. And yeah, I'm just doing that to sort of clear out the walls because it annoys me that there are no walls in those rooms. I know, it doesn't really matter, but still, it bothers me. Um, hello snake. Yeah, after this I'm gonna have to take my chances on some of those potions, because otherwise I'm not going to have the strength to keep going. I don't have any health either, so let's try the Ikru potion. Feel sick. Um, feel much better. Um, it didn't help our strength at all, but something. Could try that scroll. Identify armor scroll. Um, what's that chainmail actually? M. Drop our ring mail and put on our chain mail. Cool. Better armor. Put on... was it G? No. B. Right hand. Oh, snake. Yeah, our strength is not doing very well. I'd love to find a potion to fix that, but I get the feeling that's not happening anytime soon. Just a hunch. Um, and an empty room. Okay, well, on to level 6. After we kill the bat. And the hobgoblin, yeah. 
Got a few half goblins. Always in the way. And unlike blindness or our health, I don't think our strength will ever actually restore over time. So we're pretty much fucked. Really, we're in a room that has a secret door as the only exit. There it is. I don't see if there's anything else I did in here, though. Yep. And there wouldn't be anything up there anyway. Never mind. Switch back to our mace in case something jumps at us in the hallway. Really? There's blatantly something here. Ring mail. Zombie. A lot of secrets on this floor. Pop goblin. <sighs> well, our strength isn't very good, but... Oh, trap. An emu trap. Yeah, we just fell down a level. Which... Yeah, it's not the worst thing that could happen. I mean, we do get to skip ahead a bit. But we also don't get to loot the rest of that floor. Zombie, food, gold. A lot of stuff there. Yeah, that's kind of annoying that we just fell down a level. Um, kill the zombie, please. We've killed more of them. It's not like this is a new thing for us. Thank you. To eat. Let's see what this weapon is. Ooh, a wand. It's nice. Where'd that go? J. Okay, I'm gonna wait here a little bit to restore our health. Probably lose all of it to a bat. And we're waiting and we're waiting because waiting heals us somehow. I don't know how that works. Yeah, if you hear me pressing the button, I'm going uh, just waiting round by round rather than holding the button because every time I hold the button, something spawns and comes up to try to murder me. And 20 should be enough for right now. Is this a maze or is it just a branching path? Um, it's a secret. More secrets. It's a secret secret. Not W. you can recover arrows that miss at least because you don't really find a lot of arrows lying around and it definitely helps kill Steven Bat we got a tangerine potion mm. no I'm not gonna try that just now <sighs> fucking rattlesnakes <sighs> yeah, our strength is below half now. That sucks. It's the exit. We're missing room in the middle, though. Apparently the room in the middle is just a hallway? Really? Yes. Unless there's another door over here.
No. Looks like that's all for this floor. Hello, Orc. Are you asleep? No, but you're walking the opposite direction. I'm okay with that. Cool. Killed the Orc and we leveled up off of him. I'm very happy about that. Be happier if leveling restored our strengths, but that doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. Ice monster? Sleeping ice monster. Let's get as far away from. Forgot to wield the mace again. Okay, now. Let's shoot the ice monster. There. That should have killed it. Yeah. Cool. Like I said before, the ice monsters can just freeze you permanently. Which is pretty much death. I don't know what kind of trap that was, but I'm going to try not to step on it. So, if you can, it's usually a good idea to take out ice monsters from a safe distance. Especially if they're sleeping. There's no reason to wake them up. Mm, I do have that wand. I should try that out. Very disappointing room. I feel like I missed a door in one of those rooms up top there. Mm. Eat. Awful tasting food. Like I mentioned in a previous episode, that actually is a good thing. Quagga. The fuck is a quagga? Whatever it is, it's killing me. Um, J for the wand, O for the potion. Oh, it just lit up the room. Well, we actually did pretty well that time. Okay, I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. See ya. Bye.